when it comes to Mario Kart games, you have your standard requirements to play Mario Kart. You have your tracks, your items, your gimmicks, and battle mode. However, when it comes to Mario Kart games, you have one important requirement that needs to be addressed before you can start racing on the tracks. I mean, choosing your cart, tires, and glider are one thing, but you also want to pick what character you want to play as. I mean, come on. Racing without a driver, driving a cart, bike, or ATV is pretty ridiculous. Throughout the entire Mario Kart franchise, there are an abundant number of drivers that are playable in the Mario Kart games. And so I thought it would be a good idea to predict what drivers I would like to see appear in the rumored newest Mario Kart title, Mario Kart X. This list is based a little bit on popularity, as well as new drivers that I feel like would be a good contender for being in the Mario Kart X roster. One important thing to note is this will be the final Mario Kart X prediction video that I will be making. With the exception of the Mario Kart X Retro Track re-prediction when the game is officially announced. And we will get a good glimpse of what tracks we will be seeing returning when a trailer is dropped. And especially when Nintendo has officially confirmed that the Nintendo Switch will have a successor. So we will hopefully be seeing a new Mario Kart game in the horizons. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, pick up some of my merch from my merch shop, and without hesitation, let's predict the Mario Kart X character roster. I predict that there will be 36 characters in Mario Kart X. They will be categorized like this, 12 medium, 14 light, and 10 heavy drivers. I am going to list off the characters from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe post DLC first, and then list off the drivers who I think will either return from Tor after being shut down from 8 Deluxe, and those who I feel like can be a good contender to be in the Mario Kart X roster. Now in past Mario Kart games, there have been characters who are unlockables, and those that you can get from when the game launches. In my prediction, I have listed off 15 drivers who you get as default drivers. Defaults include Mario, Luigi, Peach, Hi, I'm Daisy. Rosalina, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Birdo, Wario, Waluigi, Bowser, Toad, Koopa, Pauline, and Shy Guy. The unlockables include Baby Mario, Baby Luigi, Baby Peach, Baby Daisy, Baby Rosalina, Diddy Kong, Bowser Jr., Kamek, Toadette, King Boo, Metal and Gold Mario, and Pink Gold Peach. I know what you're about to say. Why Pink Gold Peach? The truth is, she has grown on me these past couple of years after using her in Mario Kart Tour, especially since she has the most busted item in the game, the Coin Box. So that is a total of 28 drivers. The next few drivers are either concepts, returning characters that were cut in 8 Deluxe, characters from Mario Kart Tour that I feel like should return, or new characters that were from past Mario games that have yet to make a Mario Kart appearance. First off, I am going to discuss cut characters, because in past Mario Kart games, there have been at least one cut character so it is only fitting that I discuss the cut characters from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Tour combined. And when selecting the characters, seeing who has a good shot of returning to being cut was tricky. But some of them were hard, not for me to cut, but after a while, I feel like some of these drivers' inclusion to the new Mario Kart game wasn't necessary. But some of the obvious characters that should be cut include Tanuki Mario, Cat Peach, Lakitu, and the crossover characters. Especially the crossover characters, because they should not have 
been in the game to begin with. It's called Mario Kart. This isn't Super Smash Bros. So as much as I would love to see Xenoblade in Mario Kart, I just can't do it. The non-obvious ones that I feel like their inclusions to Mario Kart X weren't necessary but were hard for me to cut include Dry Bowser, Dry Bones, all of the Koopalings, Funky Kong, Dixie Kong, Wiggler, Charge and Chuck, Captain Toad, and yes, it is confirmed that he is an original character, not a Toad alt. Petey Piranha, and Peachette. And quite frankly, as much as I do enjoy playing as Peachette, in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, in my opinion, Peachette was a bit of a shoe in There were honestly better options than another Peach clone, even though Peachette is actually a power-up of Toadette in New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. It is now time to predict the remaining slots for the Mario Kart X character roster prediction. The first thing I'm going to do is discuss characters from previous Mario Kart games that got cut prior to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Mario Kart Tour. And, quite frankly, there is only one character I can think of that could make a reappearance after getting cut from 8 Deluxe and Tour, and that being Honey Queen. This was stated in my two parts of the Missed Opportunities in Mario Kart Tour video that Honey Queen was a missed opportunity, all because of Maple Treeway. Maple Treeway closely resembles the Super Mario Galaxy World, Honey Hive Galaxy, which is where Honey Queen resides. She could have been in tours to where Maple Treeway was a signature course, those being the 2020 Halloween Tour and the 2021 Autumn Tour. Now grant you, I didn't like Honey Queen in Mario Kart 7 due to her taking up Waluigi's spot. However, Waluigi came back in 8 Deluxe and I don't think he is going to be cut again. So I am totally fine with Honey Queen returning. The next thing I am going to do is discuss tour characters that didn't make the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe roster. So for feeling bad for them, I am going to include them in the Mario Kart X prediction. Those being King Bomb, Nabbit, Hammerbro, Monty Mole, and Poochie. I mean, nothing is more entertaining than watching this damn dog operate a vehicle. The final thing is predicting the remaining three drivers that I feel like should be in the next mainline Mario Kart game that weren't in previous Mario Kart installments. Now, one thing I need to know real quick is... In past Mario Kart games where the baby drivers were introduced, there has been at least one new baby driver. With Double Dash introducing baby Mario and baby Luigi, Mario Kart Wii introducing baby Daisy and baby Peach, and Mario Kart 8 introducing baby Rosalina. However, I am not adding my own baby driver. So, if you think I'm gonna add the baby pink gold peach because of the baby pink gold peach statue on GCN Baby Park or Albert Boris's baby Pauline prediction, then you are mistaken. Nope, these drivers were mentioned in my definite missed opportunities in Mario Kart Tour video before I quit the game for good. Those being Spike, Boom Boom, and Professor Egad. Spike for having me outfit treatment only in Mario Kart Tour. Boom Boom for being a classic airship slash fortress boss. And Professor Egad all for being a classic Luigi's Mansion supporting character who should have been in the first and fourth Halloween tours due to DS Luigi's Mansion and GBA Boo Lake which has a mansion in the background. So there we have it. That is my character prediction for the newest Mario Kart installment. Thank you so much for... Wait just a New York minute! I forgot about the Mies. Where am I supposed to put the Mies? I forgot about them. You see, 
This is a bit complicated to understand, but the Miis are in fact classic in Mario Kart, but I will not be surprised if they do get cut. I will still put them in the roster, but honestly nowadays, Miis are irrelevant. They are superior to the Wii, as well as games that involve the Miis, such as Wii Sports and its sequels, as well as Super Smash Bros. and of course Mario Kart. However, with the discontinuation of the Miiverse almost 7 years ago, as well as the shutdown of the 3DS Wii U online services back in April, which caused the Nintendo Network to discontinue because of it, Mario Kart, Smash Bros, and Wii Sports are the only things that are keeping the Miis alive. And honestly, not a lot of us main our Miis nor use the Miis in Nintendo Switch Sports. I basically describe myself as in Mario Kart, I main either Rosalina, Daisy, or Pauline. In Super Smash Bros, I main Pyra and Mithra. And in Switch Sports, I use the female character whom I named Violet after my newest member of the NateDog19 channel. Is there anything else I need to cover? No? Okay, good. So there we have it. That is my character prediction for the newest Mario Kart installment. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see ya!